Good day, everyone. You might be thinking, how can a story be creatively reenacted during pandemic in an online setup? As we deliver to you a virtual role playing, may we inspire you by our method and by the story we are about to present. On behalf of two English students from the University of Mahati, I now present to you a virtual role playing of the story Visitation of the Gods by Hilda Cordero Fernando. This public elementary school in Quezon City has one of the most number of students in Metro Manila. By now, at least 50 young students should be crammed into this small space. Instead, we are seeing an empty classroom, void of any activity. Schools remain closed until August 24th because of the COVID-19 scare. And even then, things are not going to be the same. There will be no face-to-face -face classes and sessions until we are assured of the safety of our children and our teachers. Authorities believe schooling can continue even from home. They are implementing distance or remote learning, a method that delivers lessons through various ways, including online, television, radio, and printed materials. Over 20 million students from kindergarten to high school nationwide have signed up for the new school year. Colleges and universities are also shifting to distance learning, affecting over 3 million students. The new system is drawing mixed reactions from students. Matututo naman po kami kung focus kami sa ginagawa namin. Mas mabuti po talaga na nandyan po nakatutok sa teacher. All right, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Please tell me if I'm having any technical issues here, such as uh, regarding with my camera or audio, so that I could fix it right away. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. So, how's everyone doing? Any news that needs to be discussed today? None? Okay. Seems like we're not having any problem here. Very well then. Why don't we discuss something about a moment please? Everybody, I just received a notification from the head of the Department of Education. Let me read to you what it says. Mm -hmm. All right. They're going to visit our school this school year. That's a yearly visit by superintendent branch supervisors and board supervisors for their inspection and assessment purposes that's great moreover oh they're planning to visit next month everybody we all have a month to prepare what will be our answer that's a very good question we need to have an excellent performance next month well, today would be different because they would be observing our online classes. I want every one of you to prepare a class demonstration to be held next month. And please notify your class to cooperate excellently. I wonder if Mr. Alava loved her performance last year. Oh, I hope so, Ms. Divina Gracia. Well, in fact, I haven't heard any news from them since their last visit. Don't worry, Mr. Principal. We assured that we surely did our best and gave them everything. That's good to hear. Mm, anyway, we need to give our best ne uh, next month. And I want everybody to prepare for it. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Oh, also, before I forgot, Mr. De Rosario, Mr. De Jos, 
Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Great. I want both of you to prepare a demonstration or presentation that shows the current standing and development of our school. Got it? Right away, sir. Noted, sir. Oh, that's beautiful to hear. Well, <laughs> that music to my ears. Well, let me check if something that needs to be discussed. Well, I guess that's it. That concludes our meeting for this day. Meeting adjourned. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Bye, sir. sir. Bye, sir. Good day, class. Can you hear me? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Um, so, good day, class. I have some important announcement to say. But before that, please allow me to check the attendance first. Just say present as I state your name. Miss Ardales. Present po. Kang Maong. Present po. Nafarete. Present po. Rait. Ms. Rait. Okay, um, Ms. Rengalota. Present po, ma'am. Tabago. Present po. And Ms. Vargas. Present, ma'am. So, as you all know, we are expecting a special guest on our online session next week. We need to show our best behavior and we need your cooperation. I'll give some pointers to review for the said online visitation. And also, don't forget your assigned tasks to be submitted tomorrow. Do you have any questions or clarifications? Okay, class, that would be all. Goodbye and class dismiss. Thank you, ma'am. So I heard there will be a special guest. Who might they be? Do you guys have any idea? Hmm, why don't we ask the teachers? And ask if they need help for the preparation. Yes, and for everything that they will need. Alright, let's ask them individually. Bye! By the way guys, I was not able to attend yesterday's class and I heard that we have an assignment due tomorrow. Can you please tell me what our assignment is? Oh, we must prepare for a presentation about the language standard we have in our society and it will be presented tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye. 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 Ah, compañero. It's nice to see you again. Our paths have crossed in a new but safer way. It's nice to see you too again, compañero. How are you? Well, we Good. met again in virtual world. Is everything great since our last visit? Oh yes, of course. Everything had been great, compañero. Well, our school has made improvements this past academic years and we wish to introduce you to our new decorations for the visitation. But compañero, we have to stay at home because of this continuous spread of the virus. Ah. Uh. This pandemic is really stressful. Well, you're right. Anyway, before I forgot, I want to introduce you to our new English supervisor, Mr. Sawit. Oh, <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Likewise, Mr. Albes. I'm quite excited to see the performance of your school this year. I heard a lot of things from Mr. Alava. <laughs> oh, good things, I hope, Mr. Sawit. Anyway, we are really excited to have you within our classes. And I have already emailed you the link to the class of every teacher for the day. 
I do really uh, wish that you have a wonderful experience while observing them, sir. Thank you, Mr. Alves. Let's see each other again once the class is ended. Oh, sure thing, compañero. Sure thing. Good morning, sir. It's an honor to have you in my class today. Good morning, Mr. Well. I presume that you already know who I am, but still, I am Mr. Sawi, the new English supervisor. It's nice to finally meet you, sir. I trust nothing's the matter with Mr. Amphil, sir. <laughs> then you haven't heard? The old fool broke a collarbone. He's dead. Oh, I haven't heard about it, sir. You see, he insisted in doing all the duties that's expected of him. He'd be ahead of us to the school we were assigned to visit to if he felt like we were dallying on the boat. He'd go by horseback or caravel sled to the distant ones where the road was inaccessible by bus, and at his age, too. Then, on our visitation to... Mario Tonkot. You know that place, don't you? Well, on our way to that godforsaken island, he slipped on the bank top. Well, that's it. How terrible. Well, the funny thing is, they had to pass the hat around to buy him a coffee. Turns out, the old fellow was as poor as a church mouse. You'd think of someone like him who has been in service for, I don't know, 33 years, never a day absent, never a day late, never told a lie. You'd think at least he'd get a decent burial, but he didn't reach 6 to 5 and wasn't going to get the benefits from his jobs. Well, anyways, that's a turn of your side, huh? I thought all teachers hated supervisors. <laughs> Didn't you all quake for your life when Mr. Ampil was there, waiting at the door of your classroom, even before you opened it with your key? Feared him, yes, but also respected and admired him for what he stood for. Okay, it's already time, but allow me first to take a documentation of our meeting for today. Okay, there you go. Good morning, class. Before we start, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Sawit, our new English supervisor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to talk about preposition. So preposition is a word or group of words used before a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase to show direction, time, place, location, or to introduce an object. Some examples of preposition are the words that are presented on the screen. Okay, now I want you to read for me the sample sentences on the screen. Let's start with Arcelias. The kitten is on the suitcase. Thank you. Next, Castillo. He drove over the bridge. Next, Maklang. She lives near her workplace. Next, Pederias. The car went through the tunnel. And last, Reciproco. She left muddy footprints on the clean floor. Okay, very good. Now, do you have any questions or clarification? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay. Ma if that's so, then let's call this a day. Thank you for participating, class. You may now leave the meeting. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma well, what can I say? Great class, Ms. Noel. But before I leave, may I ask you a question? Sure, what it is, sir? What's the town cottage industry? <laughs> Buntal hat, sir. Mm, I see. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. How are you, everyone? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Right. Can you see me on your screens? Yes, sir. Tell me right away if you can see me or you can hear me so that I can fix it, my my problem here right away. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. 
let's start the meeting right away so we could all have the good rest for the day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, especially to the Honorable Mr. Alava. It's a pleasant day to have you here with us. All right, so let us start. For our agenda today, we will be presenting the current status of the performance of our school. So last year, we were in rank 20 of all schools from our region, but this year we managed to climb up and we reached rank 17. The student's performance was excellent, but it was not enough to reach the quota scores for the school to be at the top 15. Next, the strategies and approaches of our teachers to deal with the online classes. The school has a monthly webinar of the applications and websites that they can utilize while having online classes. We also have virtual meetings regarding the submission process of our students that can meet their gadget and internet capabilities. We also have adopted the new system of synchronous and asynchronous classes. Lastly is that teachers always remind their students to prevent um, having group activities. That's good to hear. How about the teacher's performance? Well, if we're going to consider the performance based on the previous years, it shows that they did their job very well. Most teachers are very dedicated to showing their passion for teaching. Some were invited to mentor students for competitions. Others were recognized for the good maintenance of the room territory. And lastly, all teachers contributed an innovative approach in teaching. Very well then, I'm impressed by far. Um, it seems like Mr. Del Rosario had left the meeting. Oh, I am truly mad and deeply sorry about that, Mr. Olava. I presume that Mr. Del Rosario is now having a technical issue here right now. Maybe the signal is weak or jammed. Maybe the gadgets uh, have battery empty or maybe... Uh, Maybe something just happened, something that we cannot control. I am really terribly sorry about that, but I'm sure that he's making on his way now to reconnect with us. Oh, by the way, he's back. Welcome back, Mr. Dilosari. My apologies, everybody. I just had a technical difficulty a while ago. I'm truly sorry. It's okay, Mr. Del Rosario. I reiterate, I was impressed and I commend everyone for the improvement of your school. I hope this time we can receive the promotions that you have been working hard this year. Thank you. That's really good to hear, Mr. Alava. I guess that concludes our meeting for this day. We can now leave, everybody. Thank everyone, you, everyone. Mr. Alava. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Del Sario. Mr. Del Sario, can you please stay for a while? We have to talk about something really relevant. Okay, sir. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, sure. All right. Mr. Del Sario, what, what the hell was just happened? You know what, Mr. Del Sario? You just embarrassed me and this very school right before the eyes of the superintendent. I sincerely you know that, apologize. I just really did have a technical difficulty a while ago. I didn't mean to humiliate you or even the school. Please accept my apology. Do you think that I'm not humiliated? But oh, do I have a choice? All right. I guess I accept your apology. Very well then. But please. Mr. Del Sario, don't mess up next time. You better watch your position. You can now leave. I will, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Huh. Great. The principal tells me you're quite headstrong, Miss Noel. But then again, I don't put much stock by what Mr. Principal said. The visitation, for instance. What do you think of it? Do you want my frank opinion, sir? Yes, of course. Well, I think it's all a farce. That's what I've heard. What makes you think that? Isn't it obvious? You announce a whole month ahead that you're visiting. We bring out our best manners. As you said before, 
we rehearse our classes. Then we bring out an Oscar award acting. And you believe you observe us in our everyday surroundings, in our everyday comportment? No, <laughs> we know that. That's what I mean. We know that you know, and you know that we know that you know. <laughs> Come on, isn't that putting it a trifle strongly? No. What's the point of us talking here, sir? Hmm. Now I see what Mr. Albus meant about you being stubborn. Sir, during my five years of teaching, I've done my best to live up to my ideals. Yet, I please nobody. It's the same old narrow conformism and fervor carrying. What matters is not how well one teaches, but how well one has learned the art of pleasing, the power that be. And it's the same all the way up. You want to change the world? I've been in this service for a long time, Miss Noel. 17 years. This bald spot on my head caused mostly by new teachers like you who want to set the world on fire. In my younger years, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend you for an expulsion for your rash opinions. But I've grown old and mellow. I recognize spunk and I'm willing to give it credit. But spunk is only hard-headedness when not directed towards the proper channels. But you're young enough. You'll learn the hard way. Sign here and there, but you'll learn. How are you so sure? They all do. They all do. There are thousands of teachers out there. They're mostly disillusioned, but they go on teaching. After all, it's the only place for a woman to go. Listen, there will be a reclassification next month. Mr. Albus is out to get you. He can on the grounds of insubordination, and you know that. But I'm going to stick my neck out for you, because for some reason, my conscience wouldn't let me keep quiet. I shall give you a good rating after this visitation, because you remind me of my younger sister. If for no other reason, then, after a year, if I find that you learn how to curb your tongue, I will, let's say, recommend you for a post in Manila, where your talents will never be wasted again. I'm not that kind of a bad guy, you know. Listen, you see, education is not so much a matter of brains than it is getting along with one's fellow men. Else, how could I have risen to my present position? All the fools I started out with are still in godforsaken barrios. How can one be so idealistic in a mud hole? Think about it. Good day, my dear. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. everybody. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yep. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I'm just checking if everybody is here right now. While I'm checking, you can discuss something relevant. All right. It seems like we're almost complete. Maybe we can start after a minute. I wonder where the star of this meeting. Maybe she is creating another thread to humiliate us. I did not expect it from her. No one knows someone's real color. Even a person with the most angelic face can deceive us. Excuse me, everybody. It seems like the righteous one has already altered the meeting. Good day everyone, sorry for being a little late. Shall we start? Alright then. 
everyone i'd like to share something to you and i want you to listen in the past few days i have been receiving lots and lots i mean lots of messages and notifications from the other people about this certain post on facebook that became quite viral apparently it's about a school personal ah. <laughs> and the person who is responsible for this god for for second post is none other than Drum roll, mm, Miss Noel, our school's English teacher, of course. <laughs> I'm not even surprised that it was her. I knew it. You know what, Miss Noel? I already knew that you're kind, but I never thought you'd stoop this low. My goodness, you're so desperate for attention. Yeah. Pardon me, Mrs. Albes, but. I only did what I believe is right. I may not have done it systematically, but it is the only thing that I know for me to be heard. Well, I can't believe that you've got some guts to say that. Let me tell you something. You better lend me your ears. Miss Noel, you are just humiliating us just because of your personal interest! Now, let me ask you something, and I do really need your question about this one. Are you ready? Here it goes. Are you trying to be a hero here, Miss Noel? Hmm? Answer me. Sorry if I did not talk to you about it first, Mr. Principal. But I am not sorry that I did what I had done. I had to speak out. I no longer want to be the bystander who just watches all the unjust and biased acts and decisions committed in our educational system. All I want is to work and teach my students in a better environment. You know what, Ms. Noel? You could still withdraw your statements. We can still forgive you. Well, I guess, Miss Noel, we can no longer change our mind. Very well then. Let's just see what will happen. I guess that concludes everything. You can now leave. Meeting adjourned. Goodbye, everyone. Great. That Miss Noel is stressing me out. Why don't we file a case against her? Defamation, libel, or some sort. What do you think, Han? Well, about that, why don't we call our lawyer friends then? Hmm? Sounds good. So, let's do that then. Sure. Good morning, class. Good morning, class. Today, I'll be introducing a new lesson to you, which are the nouns. So a noun is a word that is a name of something, such as a person, animal, place, thing, quality, idea, or action. And it is typically used in a sentence as subject or object of a verb. Some examples are our names, cat, lion, table, truck, book, teacher, and there are a lot more. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget the readings that I assigned to you. We'll be discussing about it next meeting. Class, this means... Oh, Miss Leona, is everything all right? I just want to talk to you about something, ma'am. Oh, very well. What is this, my dear? I saw your post, ma'am, and I just want to ask if everything's all right. Everything's quite complicated for now, my dear. Are you going to leave us, ma'am? It is not my place to influence any of your decision, ma'am. You were just the best teacher that had inspired me to go further and do my best. 
And at some point, it's a loss for me and to other students who believe in you. Thank you, Leona. I am glad that I had an impact to you as your teacher. We're not sure what will happen in the future, but always remember that you are a great student. And someday, you'll reach your dreams. You dreamt to become a lawyer, right? Yes, ma'am. I had always desired to be a lawyer. And I wish you to be a part of my journey and be one of the teachers congratulating me on my success. Whatever you, de whatever decision you have in mind right now, ma'am, I just wish it is something you would not regret and be sure that you'll keep on teaching. Goodbye, ma'am, and see you next time. Diana, how are you? You have ground quite a late fine lady, I see. I've been great, ma'am. I'm already a lawyer. Mom, I did it! That's great to hear, dear. I knew from that day that you could achieve everything you ever desired for. I'm also glad for you, ma'am, and thankful to reach you again, though not physically. It's okay. I'm glad to see you too, after all these years. Thank you, ma'am. It's been so long since the day that I had last encountered you. I can still remember a little encounter from this Google Meet. Yes, Leona. And I'm grateful because of your kind words. You motivated me to fight, to teach, and to inspire other students just like you. I am also glad, ma'am. Are you perhaps available for a coffee reunion? Oh, sure, dear. That would be great. Let's meet again tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. I'll probably need to end this since I still have some classes to teach too. Thank you once again, ma'am. It's a pleasure, Leona. Go now, dear. You probably have some cases to take care of. Hello, good afternoon. Okay, class, why don't we have a volunteer and give us a short background about the case that you have chosen to present today? Anyone? Yes, miss. Hello, ma'am. So the case that I chose involves a school teacher, which is the defendant, and a school heads, which are the complainant. It was quite controversial during those times. This also took three years in court, but in the end, the defendant won the case. Their side presented valid evidence to support their claims. The investigation letter on showed the anomalies committed by the school heads. Sorry for interrupting, but may I know the names of the defendant and the complainants? Of course, ma'am. The defendant is named Ms. Noel, who is an English teacher, while the complainants are Mr. Albes, the principal, and Mrs. Albes, his wife. Hmm, I see. Why I find so familiar? Attorney, I know why. It is not my place to tell, but it all started at the visitation of the gods. 